Hi, this is Shane Wynn, and you are watching My Greatest Day in Public Relations. I am joined today by Jason Teitler, Senior Vice President, Head of Global Communications and Brand Lead for Special Olympics. Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm good, Shane. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, man. I, why are we wearing hats? Well, I know that both of us are season ticket holders for our respective teams, so figured there was no baseball, um, no sports, actually. We might as well have a little of that on, on this conversation. Yeah, um, I'm missing it, that's for sure. But uh, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get part of a season. You know, we'll Certainly see. Certainly hope so, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so this series is all about celebrating some of the greatest moments that senior executives, both in-house and in uh, agencies, have experienced in their careers. Uh, so we can kind of celebrate together the, uh, the beauty of this, pro uh, this profession. Uh, thanks again for joining me, Jason. Uh, I know you, you got your start at some small agencies. You moved to Porto Novelli. You built a sports marketing shop there. You ran their digital practice. You moved to Burson Marsteller. That's where you and I met. Uh, you built a sports marketing practice, a real powerhouse there. And now you're at Special Olympics. I am. And thanks to you, uh, the uh, fan experience group at uh, Burson Marsteller was a big success. We've yeah. done some pretty cool things together. So, uh, you know, and I'm glad that we're able to continue that. Fantastic. So tell me, Jason, what do you love the most about this profession? Well, with the communications profession, the ability to um, show people exactly what a particular brand is all about helps them uh, become a little bit more relevant, or in some cases, a lot more relevant with those particular audiences. And that's essential these days when you've got certain um, audience groups, particularly youth, uh, very much scrutinizing mm -hmm. uh, brands and why they're even relevant to their lifestyles. Um, in the purpose-driven world um, that we live in on the Special Olympics side, it's uh, great to be able to tell with, with a lot of conviction why we are relevant, uh, why behavior change um, for those uh, with intellectual disabilities is so very, very important and why um, the brands that work with us and supporting us are really um, walking the walk in addition to talking the talk, which I think is so vital uh, for the millennial mm -hmm. and centennial uh, audience group. Yeah, you're very fortunate that you get to work in an uh, environment where every day is purpose driven. It's uh, one of my favorite things to do. And, uh, you know, you're, you're a lucky guy. I appreciate that. Um, it's very rewarding when you're able to change uh, the world for the better uh, for even one athlete. And mm -hmm. certainly we're doing that with, for thousands upon thousands of individuals with intellectual disabilities. But the Special Olympics movement is certainly beyond just sports, which, meant, which many people don't uh, sure. know. It's part of my job to make sure they do know about it. Um, but it's also about health. It's about education. It's about leadership and doing that worldwide and communications is a very important way for us to do that. Yeah, it's a great organization. So you had a lot of experiences, obviously, in your career. You've done so much. I know it's hard to choose one, but tell me what your favorite, your greatest day in PR is. You're right. It is hard to choose. And uh, many of the greatest moments that I've had, you've been right by my side. Um, we've opened up a stadium together in MetLife Stadium. Yeah. Uh, we've done some crazy things at the Super Bowl, including giant ice sculptures. But um, I have to say that my, my favorite moment, my greatest moment, is the uh, time I spent um, at the World Games, the Special Olympics World Games in LA during 2015, mm -hmm. where with many of Special Olympics leaders, including Tim Shriver, our chairman, we brought in leaders from around the world in a closed door meeting to talk about policies that needed to be changed for those with intellectual disabilities around the world, um, including our athletes, and we were successful in doing so. And that was a, a very, very rigorous uh, yet rewarding um, communications exercise that had tremendous results beyond placements. Um, the result was a change in behavior of individual countries, which is fantastic. Wow, that's incredible. It was um, certainly hard work, um, but it was so worth the work, especially when you're uh, helping those who um, are the most, one of the most marginalized audiences um, in the world uh, get a, a bit of justice from um, individuals that haven't previously considered them a, an important part of society, which is such a shame. And, and unfortunately, there are folks that still think that today and we want to change that perspective, that behavior, that attitude, um, 
you know, amongst all folks uh, throughout the globe. Well, your, your work's not done, right? It'll never be done, unfortunately. And uh, we take pride in the fact that we change it every day. What did you learn from it? Well, I learned that if you are going to be able to get the mind share of the individuals you're trying to reach, you're mm -hmm. competing with every brand on the planet. Yeah. Not just from a purpose-driven standpoint, but we're competing against every consumer packaged good um, company. Mm -hmm. We're competing against every healthcare company. We're competing against every B2B company because we know that there are so many channels out there right now for audiences to consume information um, that we have to be very, very particular about who we're targeting, where we go, and what the message is. Yeah. And um, now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on um, your perspective, uh, we have all sorts of brands trying to get the, the attention of the same audiences that we are through the same channels that we are, whether that be consumer media or digital influencers. Right. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, Jason, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate the time. Thank you, Shane. I'm really grateful for the time. Now, you've been watching My Greatest Day in Public Relations. I'm Shane Wynn. Uh, if you've got a story you want to share, let me know on LinkedIn. Until next time, we'll see you.